Not too much has changed in the world of flashlights and headlights, or so I thought. And then a new product came up and I seen an ad and I thought, holy cow, I gotta have it. So today we're gonna talk about headlights, some of the latest and greatest technologies that I can find. I have a perfect example right here. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have a product that I just could not wait for it to come in because I do believe it's gonna change the way that I do business. And that is a brand new headlight. And you know, flashlights themselves are kind of cumbersome. They're still essential, they're still essential. But this little product right here, as you can tell from the size of the box, it is not very big, which means this is definitely going in my tool bag because I believe that this is going to change everything when it comes to working on medical equipment or any type of job where you're working on something this guy solves all those problems okay so it comes in a tiny little box it's much smaller than i thought it was going to be and they call it a 230 degree headlamp which means as you can imagine the beam is quite wide comes with a usb-c charging thank you for using usb-c thank you thank you thank you and it comes with a rather large head strap you can see that it has leds and a matrix right here along the the front and on the side it's got a spot lamp and it has a red light feature and it's got a couple of other things that i'm i haven't really explored um it's, it's been charging for the most part so let's go ahead and uh let's take a look at what this guy can do whoa so first impressions is that this guy here It's, it's got an adjustable elastic strap. My first impressions is very Tron-ish. It's comfortable to wear, I, except for this guy is kind of like almost running into my ear. Um, my head strap is not exactly adjusted correctly. I know this is probably blowing out the camera, but that is part of the problem when you're talking about headlights. Now, one of the things that I definitely did notice is that the beam on this guy is quite wide. Quite wide, in fact. <laughs> You can see, um, I can see everything in dark environments is not just a spot, all right? So I can see everything everywhere. But it has several other features. So right here, press this button, that shuts it off. There's that guy, okay. So it looks like a low power mode. It's got a red mode. Now red mode is good if you're out hunting and you're looking for a really low light, but also, there are some people that still do like photography and anybody that uh, exposes film still out there to this day, um, red light does not expose film. So um, definitely an option, but it, it's called low light mode. So if you're out there stalking game or something, uh, use this because it will not um, you know, startle any, any animals. And let's see, so highlight, low light, red light, and spotlight. What? So uh, my spotlight, it's actually pretty good. It's exactly the center of my field of view. Uh, so they, they actually have it kind of set at an angle, which is perfect. You know, most people's arms are maybe, maybe a little bit shorter than mine. And it's aimed right here. I like that. So that I don't have to think about it. I don't have to turn it cockeyed to get the beam centered. It's already there. I dig it. So this does have a few other features. I'm, I'm not really completely for sure what they are. There's clearly a uh, IR on the side of it and a receiver. So I think you can wave your hand to change the modes. And I, I haven't figured that out yet. Hmm. So it has another button right here, which is waves. Huh. No. Uh. See, it's got the IR receiver and sender, so I don't, I don't know what that's for. Looks kind of cool. But the main mode I'm going to use it for is for the, um, the headband on highest brightness. I mean, it, it does feel very comfortable. It's got a strip that doesn't uh, sit flush against the skin. It's kind of perforated. So that gives your skin still some ability to breathe. 
the strap is definitely wide enough to fit around a helmet, whether it be a motorcycle helmet or a crash helmet or even a construction hat. You have plenty of real estate there. I mean, I do not have the smallest head in the world. And this guy here fits on kind of loosely right now, and it's already tightened down quite a bit. So if you have a construction hat or something you want to put this guy on, go for it. Uh, it says right here that um, it has a sensor for reception, a sensor switch. Huh. All right. So as with many of these products, they don't have really good instructions. But it does say it's got 230 degree vision. It's got 328 foot of range, red light mode. It's fully adjustable. It's got five lighting modes. It's got a wave sensor, but I don't know what the wave sensor is. Um, and it says USB rechargeable, lightweight, sleek design, zero bounce. Well, that's definitely true. This does it because the weight at best is centered right here in the middle of your head. I can move around and it does not feel like it's it's like very weighty and off, off balance. So guys, that is the Night Buddy 230 degree headlamp. The best part is, is you can wrap it up like this and stick it in a little bag in your tool bag. Oh, I, I could probably even stick it in this bag that it came with. Stick it in my tool bag and it takes little to no space. It's extremely lightweight. And when it comes to a flashlight, there's nothing like having both hands available. So because it's a flood pattern, it lights up everything in the perimeter, which is really cool because usually you have to readjust your light source in order to, to change what you're doing. Don't have to do it with this guy. So guys, that is the Night Buddy. I will leave information if you want to check it out in the video description below. I got it off Amazon and what a win. Thanks for watching, guys.